map aman is lost in an unknown place he has the map of the place map has directions now which is east and which is west now it is 6 o'clock so if he stands facing sun he would be facing east his back would be facing west look his right hand would be towards south and left hand would be towards north look at the diagram if you find east you can find the other directions easily northwest is in between north and west northeast is in between north and east southeast is in between south and east southwest is in between south and west now how can a map tell us the distance between the two places to know that you have to know how a map is made aman made the map of his house look one line or stick means 4 meter so length of his house is 9 sticks so length is 9 into 4 is equal to 36 meter and the width is 7 sticks so width is 7 into 4 is equal to 28 meter so this is how we scale distance in real life onto a map we draw maps with north direction pointing upward so the main entrance of aman's house is on north now aman wants to show his room there is a chair table and a bed these maps are called floor maps we use symbols to denote things in map because there is very little space we show big rooms big areas in a small paper so we use symbols see this is a floor map of a cottage with one room so it has three windows and a door but there is no windows beside door so it is floor map of first building the third window is on back side we use symbols in maps look aman made a map of his small town h means hospital s means school po means post office p means park b means bank triangle marks mean pakka houses remember north side is always up aman is standing near the hospital one bank is in north of the hospital post office is in southwest of the hospital we can get a good idea of town from this map isn't it the house where he is staying is in east of the park look he can easily find his way using map if he knows which is north